Okay, hi there, and uh, welcome to another micro video. Uh, the advantages of firms being already established in an industry, so-called incumbent firms, are examined in this short topic video. So here's a question, examine the advantages from being established in a market or industry. Well, uh, an incumbent firm is defined as a business that is already established in each particular market sector or industry. In other words, they've been in the market for some time and they've essentially got a foothold in the market. So what are some of the advantages from having this position of being an incumbent? Well, here are four key points. The first is that existing firms, established suppliers, can achieve internal economies of scale. Uh, and you can probably visualize a diagram for that, I hope. Those scale economies can bring down the long run average cost and therefore make a business more cost and price competitive against potential rivals. A second point is that firms can use their greater experience and intelligence and learning by doing uh, to move down their experience curve. We'll come back to that concept in a second or two. Existing firms, incumbent firms can also build, acquire customer loyalty and establish brand recognition. Once you've sold to one customer, that brings down the marketing spend of selling to that customer. Again, it's much, much less uh, to sell to an existing customer than the cost, the expense of acquiring a new customer. And the existing firms in the market may also have used a process of vertical integration through merger and takeover to give them a greater control of the supply chain in their industry, either the supply of key inputs, component parts, or perhaps supply of the, the distribution channels to the final consumer. I did say we'd mention the experience curve. Uh, the concept behind the experience curve is that the more experience a business has in producing, in supplying a product, the lower are its costs. And you can see this in this simple illustrative diagram measuring the cost per unit on the y-axis and cumulative production in units on the x-axis. This concept, I think, first initiated by the Boston Consulting Group, management consultants. Uh, they did some research into manufacturers of semiconductor uh, chips, and they found that the unit cost, the average cost of manufacturing, fell by about a quarter, or 25%, for each doubling of the volume of chips that they produced. Uh, so as businesses grow, they gain experience. That experience may be advantageous. And crucially, uh, the more experience firm has in producing a particular product at scale, the lower are its unit costs. Well, the question does say examine, and examine requires some evaluation. So here are four evaluation points. Firstly, later entrants into the market can avoid sometimes some of the mistakes made by the first mover. Dropbox, for example, a file sharing business of some global renown, was certainly not the first business to provide that kind of service. They're perhaps even the 30th business into the market. Second point is that many new rivals achieve scale and brand recognition in other industries, and that then makes market entry easier. Virgin Money has a strong brand identity and customer loyalty, and that, in a sense, has eased their entry into financial services including the retail banking savings uh, market. Another potential, uh, uh, another potential problem for the incumbent firm is that the existing firms, the established firms, well, they may suffer a brain drain effect, losing some of their talented, skilled workers, uh, some of whom may actually end up uh, competing against the existing firms, starting up their own enterprises. Or, of course, they may grow too big and start to experience dis economies of scale. Perhaps the apps industry is a good example of losing skilled workers who then become your, your competitors. And if we think about things like patent protection, uh, where you have a legal barrier to entry, well, patents don't last forever, typically 10, 12, perhaps 15 years. And once a patent becomes generic, then often very quickly lots of similar products enter an industry because no one established firm has any significant uh, um, power and protection over the intellectual property. So there we go, a quick video on the advantages of incumbent firms 
and examining some of the some of the drawbacks as well.